Let's talk about free versus premium content. How much content should you offer for free versus what should be paid? And how do you decide between what parts of your content are free versus what's, what parts are, are paid? So let me first quickly describe my evolution on this topic. In 2014, I came out strongly with the stance that all content should be free uh, forever from everybody because then humanity will progress faster and you'll attract your ideal audience and you'll also grow faster, etc. And while I do think that content helps humanity grow faster, uh, and the very important thing I've learned since then is that free content needs to be easy to consume. So let me ask you, when you're creating content, do you, are you aware that there are two buckets or two ends of the spectrum? The content you create that is easy for your audience to, to take in and the content that is more difficult to take in that requires them to study, right? To really study and implement something, okay? That kind of stuff should be paid. Now, why is that? Doesn't free content help more humanity, you know, humanity evolve? Yes, content does help humanity evolve, but humanity doesn't want to evolve with free content very much. That's what I've learned. That's true. Like, most people now there are some people there of course there are always exceptions there are always exceptions there are few of you who will work really really hard to implement free content but most of us aren't interested in doing that most of humanity would only work hard to implement content when it's paid now you don't have to charge a lot of money i used to um back in you know 2009 to 2013 I would charge you $2,000 for an online course that I am now charging, you know, $100 for, $100, $150 for. So it's dramatically different, the pricing I used to do. And that's what a lot of people do out there. For example, there are Facebook ads courses out there for easily for $1,000 or $2,000, whereas mine is $100. Next year will be $150. So, but still, 150 versus $1,000 is a huge difference. You don't have to charge a lot for your content, um, for people to signal to themselves, signal to themselves that, ah, prime the brain. I am now willing to do the work to implement this stuff, to really study this stuff because I just paid something for it. So I do agree that paying something, uh, doesn't have to be a lot, will help the student to apply because they, they're, they've got, they made, an own, they, they made a tangible investment, and so now they're going to use some tangible energy to, to actually go for it. Free content, what people want, what humanity wants, is infotainment. That's what you all want. You, when you're watching my free videos, you're not, you know, let's get no pen and paper. I, most of you aren't, okay? Maybe a few of you. you know, let's get pen and paper. Let's get really serious, and let's take down every single point, and let's try to figure out everything and apply everything. You're here because you want to be entertained. And maybe I'm a little bit entertaining, or at, when I say entertainment, I don't mean that I have to be funny or that I have to be like, you know, really exciting. I mean, that probably doesn't hurt. But what I mean is if I show up as, 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 as real, if I show up as myself, um, I don't have to talk fast either. I can talk slowly and still be entertaining. And you can too. And that's what I mean. It's enter entertainment isn't necessarily a particular style. I, I try to talk fast because I think it is. It does help keep you awake. I think it does help with that. But also because I'm trying to keep my videos now to under 15 minutes, so um, I talk fast for a couple reasons. But but just show up as yourself, whether it's in writing or in, in videos, and that will be entertainment enough for your true fans because you don't have to entertain everybody. You just have to enter. You don't even have to try to entertain anybody. You just have to show up as yourself, and your true fans will be entertained just by you being you. That's a definition of a true fan. So, free content should be easy to consume. If you find yourself starting to have to explain a lot of things, then you should really question whether that should be a free blog post, or whether that should go as a chapter in your book, or whether that should be taught as a course. Okay. Let the free stuff be easy, easy to consume. So let's talk about um, what kinds of things are, are easy to consume. I have a couple of analogies for you. So one of my favorite analogies is the whole white belt idea. So 
imagine a martial arts dojo. Okay, you go into um, you, you you. By the way, I recently I have to give give plug to uh, the the YouTube series Cobra Kai. <laughs> My wife and I've been enjoying it because we're um, throwback to the Karate Kid uh, when we you know grew up watching that. But but like martial arts dojo where you have like black belts and you have white belts. Like you have you have all kinds of belts there, and you notice that in any given class, even if the sensei is teaching you know, the white belts how to punch, you'll also find the black belts uh, there um, practicing their punches, but the black belts are, are, are doing the same punch. They may look the same, but they have much more nuance. They understand the history of the punch and how when you do this, it gives more power and why, and, and they're practicing at a much deeper, nuanced, sophisticated level, meaningful level. Than the white belts who are just trying to, to, to figure out how the, how the form goes and try not to hurt themselves, right? So in other words, when you create white belt content, content that's easy to consume, content that's basic, basic, okay? Even the advanced people will appreciate it because they appreciate it at a deeper level, you see? So create white belt content. Another example, uh, another analogy I wanna give is your free content should be Okay, so if, if you imagine that all of your content, free and paid, is like you're giving, you're giving your audience a map for how to go from where they are, the problems that they have, the yearnings that they have, to where they want to go. So, see, I'm, going, I'm in this city, I want to get to that city. Okay, I, 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 I need a map to get there. Okay, your free content is like a very, very overview, basic, simple map that doesn't take much, doesn't have much detail to overwhelm people. It's very basic. Oh, from San Francisco to Seattle, you basically go through Oregon. Okay, you basically go from California through Oregon to you know to to, to Seattle, and maybe there's a few other major towns along the way, and there's one major highway. Okay, that's and maybe there's a mountain range that you need to be you know understand that you're going to go through. Whatever, but it's a very, very overview, basic map. That's the free content. And or or, a free content could also be a very zoomed in part of a city that's very popular. Oh, let me show you downtown Seattle. Just the uh, or let me sorry, um, Pike Pike Place Market is a very famous tourist attraction in, in Seattle. Let me just show you that those few blocks. I'm going to show you the detail of that. And that's very popular. A lot of people would 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 like that. And so free content could be could be that kind of detailed. Uh, zoomed in, fun, popular thing as well. So you could teach or write about some topic that your audience loves. That um, you could give a bit of detail on that on that very very popular topic. Just a little bit of a detail there, so they can they can get something that that they could use if they were there at that place. Again, your free content could be the overall map or that small fun detail. Um, okay, but your paid content is the entire comprehensive map that says, oh, you might, there's a detour here that might be fun that you might want to check out. And oh, be careful of this. Uh, this road is very difficult to travel on. And um, you know, you might want to bring this along or bring that along. So the, the paid stuff is the detailed comprehensive map with detours, with preparations, and you know, all the things that go along with that. Does that make sense? Whereas the, the free is just, oh. okay. And then another, um, Let's see, another uh, analogy is what and why versus how. So the free content is your what and the why. So what should people understand about your field? Define, give us some definitions, okay, that are useful. You know, I see Shretta here. What is Ayurveda? You know, that's her, that's her field, right? Um, Ayurveda and, and, uh, and she's also a doula. And so, um, what is Ayurveda? What is, you know, what, and, and, and interestingly, when you define what is Ayurveda, basic people will appreciate that, but also advanced people will appreciate that, right? Basic people who don't know much, they're, they're curious about holistic healing, they'll, they'll, be, they'll, they'll love to know what Ayurveda is from your perspective. And the, the advanced people, people who have studied Ayurveda and might still work with you, would love to know how you define Ayurveda too, because again, like I said, remember the white belt, black belt stuff? Okay, so the what is the definitions and the um, the overall things that must be done to, to transform in, in this field, 
Okay, what you basically, what are the major pieces basically? And the why, why it can also be given for free. Why is, why is Ayurveda important? Uh, why do you think of Ayurveda in, in your way versus another way that you, you don't as much agree with or isn't as relevant to your clients? So for example, for me, why is marketing important? Well, I could talk about that all day long. Why is authentic, what is authentic marketing? Right, I could talk about that. And then why is authentic marketing important? Uh, or why is authentic marketing better for my people versus conventional marketing, right? So the what and the why is given for free. And the how is you gotta pay for it. So the how is like, all right, pen and paper, let's really sit down. Are you ready to like spend some hours with me to like actually implement this stuff? You, you aren't gonna be willing to do it for free. Most of you aren't. But if you pay something, it doesn't have to be a lot. Then you're like, well, I paid something. Now I'm, I've signaled to my own brain something. I've given something tangible, and now I'm ready to, to also uh, give energy uh, along with the tangible money and, and receive something tangible back, right? And receive something tangible to actually you know, implement that. So what and why can be free, and the how is, is, is paid. And then the last analogy is um, infotainment versus education, okay? So what is free is infotainment. You give out information that is entertaining, that's helpful, uh, maybe helpful, um, but it's mostly uh, to fur just to think about someone who's who's eating while they're watching your video, or who is like you know very casually relaxing and reading your blog post. That's the attitude you should have with your reader for for free content, not like oh they are you know, like I said, not like they are with a pen and paper and like ready to like become the best student in the world. No, that's not how they read your stuff. That's not how most people watch our videos. They're watching when they're eating a meal or when they're like relaxing, right? And that's what I'm assuming you're doing too. You're not really, you know, here to study. Maybe a few of you are, but most people watching this aren't, okay? Uh, just want to, something enjoyable, something that helps the, you to build your business skills a little bit better, right? So info, this is infotainment. Whereas education is where I, I go in my courses where I'm like, okay, now here are the details. Here are the pitfalls, here are the step-by-steps. I'm assuming you have a pen and paper or whatever way to take notes and like really study, really ask me questions. That kind of level of detail and energy expenditure is done in a paid and premium content. So does that make sense? Is that helpful? And one of the questions that I get about this is, well, what if, you know, George, what if I'm, I just find myself talking and talking or writing and writing and writing. It's hard for me to stop with my free stuff, right? Um, it, then give yourself a time timeline, right? I, I only give myself one hour to write my blog post, maximum. That's like one hour to write a pretty darn good draft that I could publish if I wanted to. But I usually come back the next day and give myself another 15 minutes or so to kind of polish things up before I, before I publish. Um, video, same thing. I didn't prepare much for this video other than writing my blog post. Now, of course, I've got my blog post, so now I could just speak to you from my blog post. But... Uh, you know, with my courses, I spend a lot more time preparing. You know, I spend um, three hours of time preparing for a one-hour session course, and actually more than three hours. There's even preparation, drafting the notes before that. So it's a lot of time to prepare for a course, whereas with free, that's why I, that's why I recommend all of you do free, free stuff consistently because it doesn't take much time to prepare. Don't get yourself so nervous about free stuff. Free stuff is just they're relaxing. They're just, just be, inter just be yourself. Don't, don't try to be entertaining. You can try if you like it. If you're a ham, okay. But if just be yourself, and that's already entertaining for your ideal clients and for your true fans. You're not pleasing everybody. You only, you only being yourself, and the people meant for you are naturally pleased. That's the idea. So I hope this is helpful. And uh, thanks for those who are are joining me here. And um, Becky says, cup of tea in bed. Yes, right? Yeah, exactly. That's great. That's great. I hope this is, uh, I hope this helps to put you to sleep <laughs> or whatever you're doing or help you wake up if you're trying to do that. Um, thanks, Shweta and uh, Maria for joining me as well. And uh, Vasson, and Linda, Gianmarco, Tracy, thanks all for joining me. Those are the comments and likes I can see right now anyway. Uh, so until the next video, remember, that you don't have to give away the farm in your in your paid in your free content. And also remember, free content, paid content is a true and genuine business model. 
it can be a real income source for you for the rest of your life, paid content. You know, sell courses, sell books. Uh, I believe that teachers and authors should be paid so that teachers and authors, if teachers and authors, uh, teachers and authors are paid well, people who teach on online courses or offline courses and people who write, if, if, if we, collective we, are paid sustainably, then that gives us the time and energy to continue to, to create better and um, better, deeper, broader content versus if we spend all our time just serving people one-to-one -one or in groups, that doesn't give us the bandwidth to create, to, to have an, much of an intellectual life, to then share that intellect with, with the world and that infotainment with the world or that, the paid courses with the world. So teachers and authors need to be paid. You need to pay for their stuff, okay? This is not just me. I'm just talking about anybody you wanna support, any blogs you read, any, any videos you watch, figure out how you can pay them too doesn't have to be a lot. Just pay them something. They'll be so grateful because that, that will help them free them up income-wise to then create more knowledge and infotainment uh, to, to share, to help everybody grow more faster, okay? I hope this is helpful, and until uh, the next video, be well.